Okay, uh, this is a journal entry that I am going to turn into a tutorial. Uh, and I call this my light wall test, which is really me just trying to uh, fake the effect of uh, these globe lights or string globe lights along a wall or uh, in a group, like in a cube, and then some of them actually be on the wall. Uh, you can see stuff like that in you know tons of music videos and different things um, but what I wanted to do was just kind of do some research to just kind of see how I can go about trying to fake this look and then uh, possibly put this in the tutorial um, and here's some of the images that I was able to pull down from the internet uh, and just looking at them you can see that when you look at the light itself or the bulb and the light with inside of the bulb uh, you can see that there is a dark gradient starting out, then it kind of intensifies and then it gets really, really hot. Here is like a dark purple, then it goes to a lighter blue, then you can see like there's a ring, like a turquoise ring here, and then intensifies to more like a pale blue in the middle here. Uh, and that was kind of cool for the color lights. Um, and then I looked at these kind of yellowish uh, off-white pale lights and I, and I like them better. Uh, and when I look at this one, I can see that there is right around the edges here, you can see that there's almost like a dark orange emitting from there, like a ring orange here and then going into like a lighter orange, then to a pale yellow and then more so like a, a off-white or a crew color white and it's just intensified throughout from that area uh, and one of the things that I like is that the lights did not cover the the entire wall but they emit it to a small area so what I wanted to do was try to create this effect uh, and again this is not the actual full-blown tutorial but this is like a journal entry of the tutorial to come but I just wanted to try to see what kind of feedback I would get from this if I just put it on the web um, and all this that I did was created inside of black magic's fusion which is free by the way if you download the uh, 7 point uh, one version from blackmagic.com it's free which is really really cool um, but I wanted to see what I can do as well inside of a node based compositor alright so here's the earlier test here and I'll just go ahead and put that up in this window here and this is what the actual light bulbs look like here uh, it's kind of crawling a little bit uh, because I'm recording as well but nonetheless um, what I wanted to do was see how they look if I was to turn them off and on in some kind of way and and so and this is what it looks like here I just kind of use this step thing here to kind of cycle through and as you can see when you turn the lights off you can clearly see that it's still picking up the off bulbs are picking up the lights that are on which is really really cool uh, and the effect is really really not hard to create uh, it just takes a little thought about how to do it and uh, and since I thought through it uh, you know, I can share this with you all as a tutorial so you don't have to worry about thinking through it. You can just think about other ways that you can use it uh, and put it to work in some of your own projects. But so this is the, like I said earlier, test for it. And let me show you the results here. So I'll click on this one, add it in. And so this is my results and I used the, the black magic fusions 3d text as well with a custom bevel uh, to create this uh, light text but as you can see as you go through here and it looks how they did the light emits on the wall clearly when the light goes full blown and you have all these other lights you get more light in the room or more light on the wall which is really really cool and uh, I pretty much fake the effect uh, and it took this about three and a half minutes to render um, and you can see that that can be very very valuable in terms of production time especially when you have to create a real quick and clean motion graphic something simple but effective uh, I like this this looks kinda cool uh, and I can change this up to be anything I want it to be uh, this is what it looks like in the actual uh, the the 3d itself 
in the scene. And this is my scene here. Uh, I got my 3D renderer here. Uh, but the cool thing is I like this because if I wanted to change my text around, if I wanted the text to be something totally different, I could do that. All right now I got to say in lights, but I can get it to say my name, Hooper, or my last name here. And once it's all said and done and, and it refreshes, <laughs> And so it's Hooper here, boom, and then refreshes. And it looks really, really cool. And suppose that can be a tag or an ID for a, a short bumper or a television station. Nice little ID like that. So that's my Black Magic's uh, Fusion um, journal entry that will soon be a tutorial. But again, I just wanted to try to put this on the web and try to see what kind of feedback I can get from it. All right, take care, guys. Peace.